This is an electric guitar. These are the pickups that capture the movement of the string's electric signal, and we can amplify this to recreate the sound of the guitar. This is a pickup, and this one's from a Telecaster style guitar. It's got a magnet on the back with a bobbin, and in the bobbin we've got wire of copper that's wrapped around many times. The pickup also has got pull pieces, and these can be magnetic themselves. It's this magnetic field and copper coil combination that creates the sound. But the magnetic field of these is so weak. If we use a set of hex keys of different sizes as a test to see how strong the magnetic field is, we can only just pick up the smallest hex key of the set. So do weak magnets make weak guitars? I think we should find out. So this magnet is for magnet fishing. This is where people throw a magnet into waterways such as rivers and streams and pull out trolleys, bikes, knives, and sometimes guns. This one can lift about 100 kilograms. So this is a lot more hex keys. So what if I put this magnet into a guitar pickup? I think we should give it a go. So the first issue we've got is the bobbin is not going to work. So we need to come up with our own design. So in FreeCAD, I've created my own shape. And this is what we're going to 3D print to create a bobbin. I export this from 3D CAD into a program called Cura. And this creates the tool path for the 3D printer. This took about five hours to print. If you want to know more about creating this, do comment so I can create a more detailed video showing you how to do this yourself. I've designed it in two parts that I can glue together so there's no overhang, there's no support material needed, so there's no plastic wasted. I'm going to put this into a drill and start winding. Now, we all know science probably has the best answers, but over time, just blind feeling through the dark is the way to go. So we're just going to use instinct to work out the ideal number of windings. So after a while, we have this. And oh man, this is looking exciting. I'm gonna add some tape around the wire just to protect it because it took quite a while to get this point and if I was to damage it, that would be quite frustrating. But next we need a guitar. And feast your eyes on this. We've got an Aria Pro 2. Oh, this looks perfect. What a neck, what a body. Now, I know we're gonna be producing some beautiful strong tones. So having Pro on the guitar reassures me that this is the right guitar. I'm not sure a non-Pro guitar would be able to be up to this type of tone. But sadly, the guys and gals at Aria didn't envision this pickup, so we have to make a few little tweaks to the body cavity and the scratch plate. So a little bit of wood and plastic has to be removed. But we soon fit the pickup, and wow. So I've wired this so it's just plugged straight into the pickup. We've got no controls and we can do a quick resistance impedance check and we get this. So my question is, what do you think this is going to sound like? Do you think there's going to be some issues? Is it going to work? Have I done something wrong? Do comment if it's different or exactly as you expect. I'd be curious to know. And also, have you got any other ideas of what we should test? Is this the first guitar that can play heavy metal, but also lift heavy metal objects? Let's get it plugged in. So we've plugged it straight into this Sound City 40 watt tube amp, and let's put it on the drive channel and set the EQ to level and see what it sounds like. better than I expected. Let's add a bit more crunch.
should try it on the clean channel. <laughs> Well, I found that really interesting. In summary, I think it's worked really well. It does work as a pickup. And did you expect all the strings to be the same volume? <laughs> That's a surprising result right there. One thing I noticed is the magnet has got a housing and I think if this is of magnetic material the field is not going to be as strong as at the sides and at the back of the magnet and this maybe reduces the power quite a bit. So I think in future we should try and find a magnet without this part. I think we can agree that this strong magnet tone is perfect. Though I'm going to have to be honest there are some downsides such as a magnet is strong could cause some issues such as attracting a mic stand, watches, or just anything that you probably don't expect. I've got a few more ideas of where to take this, so do subscribe and stick around. But that's it for today, and we'll, and we'll see you in the next time.